Wow. Genuine 1954 cook stoves. Tell me about that thing. This is Grandpa's genuine 1954 Coleman stove in immaculate shape because Grandpa cleaned it every time he used it. We're in the Mount Baker National Forest in a free camping area, which is up at the north end of Baker Lake. Um, the way it works here apparently is you just need a northwest parking, a trailhead parking pass, and it gives you a year's worth, it's for 35 bucks, gives you a year's worth of parking. Um, there's some overflow camping here on the sandbar. It's kind of the height of the season. Technically we're in August and still not bad, but uh, Quite a few people out. They're tents. The mosquitoes are thick, but this is the valley that kind of heads down towards the Baker Lake. <laughs> There's sort of dispersed camping everywhere, really. Pretty crowded spot. Good morning. We are up in the Pacific Northwest on a closed road camping and we're about to check out the current situation with fishing in this location. Tying up some flies and attach them to the end of our leaders. We're gonna make a few casts. That bend in the river down there has some fish rising. And then this series of riffles and around that bend had some fish rising, so we're gonna take a look. Camped out there last night. On a fairly sketchy road coming in, but you know, only one section as Chris would say.
So they're in here, dry flies, and uh, they're a lot of fun to catch. I catch them quite frequently at the moment. They're rising to the surface. Now let me take care of this guy. So I've been fishing a couple hours. Landed a dozen of, well half a dozen fish or so. They're all about eight to 10 inches. And um, I've been fishing a dry fly. And it seems like I can fish a riffle and pull one or one fish out and then nothing else will come out of there. Could be that there's only one fish in there or they're smarter than I thought. But I'm going to move down river a little bit and see if I can join up with Chris and um, see how he's doing. But it's a beautiful place. Stunning. Stunningly beautiful and peaceful and quiet. There's hardly anybody here. That's a monster. It's a monster South Nook Sack. Whoa! Yeah. Look, you have any yeah, can I have your hand? Oh, yeah. You want my hand? Oh. Oh. Alright, Evan, you want to see it? Mm -hmm. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? I'll yeah, show it to you. It. Ready? Yeah, he's going to show you. Ready? It's on the bottom of the line. Oh, look at that, he got one. Yeah. And a little one. And how is, how is, how you bring that? Three? A big fish up. That's big for this river. You got one. Turn it all over. Why are we bringing it? Come on, bud, get in the ripple. Because there's no weight on the, on the lure itself, bud. The fly line is the weight, so you have to use that to get the fly out there. See how it's just drifting on the top? Yeah, I think your dad there he is, up. boom. Oh, we got him. <clears throat> the key is, and this is the hard 
hardest when you first start, when it's like your first time out fishing on this for the day, is you gotta make sure you give it time to set the hook. Like you gotta count the three basically before you set the hook. I really need like a zero weight rod. What is that? This is a three weight. Three. Yeah, for you, this would be like magic compared to what you were using before. Yeah, I was using pretty stiff rod. Yeah, that's a five. <laughs> There you go. That's the spot. That's a good angle of approach. They just keep getting smaller. There they are. That's the guy that would just... <laughs> What do you guys think of this spot? This is called Baker Lake. Is there a little bit of a littler pool that we can touch more in? You can touch in this pool for as far out as I need you to go. You can walk right out there. I can walk. Baker Lake, South End, that's the dam. See that guys right there? See that big thing? That's a big concrete chunk of concrete that's holding all this water back. And a lot of this water is for the folks of Washington who see Drewoolie and others who drink water out of this lake. 